You're listening to The Sizzle on Iron Skillet Radio and Iron Skillet Television. You know what it is. You know who it is. It's The Sizzle in the building. Oh, baby, we got a lot to talk about. You see who's in the building. Rich Sizzle. I'm G Sizzle. We are in the building right now. We're getting ready to talk a little fantasy football and what you need to know this season coming up for fantasy football. But before we can do that, let me mention to you, if you have not liked, subscribed, and shared, please feel free to do so. Hit the button. That's right. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe all, and you'll get all of the content that we come out with and everything, everything hot, everything fire that we talk about. You'll get it. So just remember, hit that button. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Share it with someone. Share it with a friend who's going to need this information. So let's get ready to talk about fantasy football and how the sizzle can help you. Oh, yeah. All all right, Rich Sizzle. Let's get ready to talk a little fantasy football. So everybody loves fantasy football. So can you explain to the listeners who don't know, because there are many people who don't know, what is fantasy football? How do you play it? Who doesn't know? Oh, it's a lot. My neighbor, he said he didn't know. He, he knows what it is. He knows about it, but he doesn't know. He's like, I, this is all brand new to me. And he's like, I don't, you know, it's just like, is it like football? And I was like, you're going to have to listen to the special to learn, sir. Wow. I mean, go back to a couple years ago. We've done us. We've done this every year. We yes, brought him in. We, we spoon fed him. And then yes, we yes. compile, put him right in there. Listen. Fantasy football is unlike what you see on a day-to-day football game. You take basically um, your favorite adversaries, non-adversaries, likes, dislikes, put them all on one team position by position and watch them do what they do. It has nothing to do with with your favorite team at this point. Your favorite team, i.e. maybe the Chicago Bears, you're not playing against them. You might just have Allen Robinson in your team from your fantasy team amongst a field of other players. It just depends on what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much how it goes. You have a draft and then you have acquisitions. You can make trades. You can do all kinds of fun, fun things. You can play for money. You can play for free. We have, there's millions of different leagues across hundreds of different platforms. Some of the most uh, famous ones, Yahoo, ESPN, those are going to be uh, big time. They've got daily fantasy now. Those you'll see on like DraftKings and FanDuel. I mean, the sky is the limit here. If you haven't heard about fantasy football or any kind of fantasy sport, I don't know what you're doing on your day-to-day sport routine, to be honest with you. But right. we're going to get you acclimated. Definitely. Don't worry about it. Just sit tight. I am going to be your fantasy guru. I will get you there. You will. Work. You will. Actually, you get us right where we need to be. So let's talk about where we need to be. Right now, the season is coming up quickly. And in fact, we've got our draft coming up, the sizzle draft, soon. It's It seems like it's a few weeks off, but it, everything is going to be soon. So we're looking at a couple of things, man. You know, there are people in Survivor Leagues. There are people in Pick'em Leagues. There are people who are just on, as you said, dailies. It's all kinds of things going on. But right now, If you had to tell somebody who's a newbie, Rich, how to get into fantasy football, what would be the first thing you would tell them to get them on the road to fantasy? Pick you a platform, Yahoo, ESPN. Um, Join a league. There's, you can, most people have a huge network of friends, co-workers, associates, and they just join their own leagues. Some of them are paid leagues. Some of them are free leagues. And if you just don't have any friends, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. I mean, sign up and just click that button that says join a league and go from there. After that, I would say if you haven't started looking into fantasy draft cheat seats, cheat seat, excuse me, say it for me. Cheat sheets. Cheat sheets. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. You need to start doing that. Mm-hmm. They used to come in these um, books. They were like G14 classified. You had to find them right. somewhere in the deep end of the, of the grocery store. Google 2021 fantasy football cheat sheets. 
you'll get about 40 of them. I would say go with some reputable analysts. Everybody right. has one. We'll have one pretty soon. It's all good. And then formulate your team from there. After you've got your cheat sheet down, if you're especially if you're on Yahoo, do a couple of mock drafts. See how the draft is flowing. There are many different formats. You can have a fantasy league with as less as four people playing for the season and as many as like 20. Mm -hmm. you know, the standard is between 10 and 16. You will see a huge difference between 10 10 team leagues and 16 team leagues. The difference between a 10 team league and a 16 team league is basically like this. In a 10 team league, you're going to have about seven or eight fantasy hoorah guys up in there. In a 16, you better pick good because if one of those players gets hurt on the first week, that's your season for inevitably, unless you luck up in the waiver wire. True. That's something that you got to talk about. So let's talk about that. <laughs> talking about waiver wire we're talking about pickups now you know when it comes to our fantasy league i can speak specifically for our league our league has professionals they're professional fantasy snipers and they're killers and they come and they come to screw up your fantasy league they pick players that you thought you had stashed away and no one was going to find out about them and they'll pick them in the second round they'll do something real crazy like the second pick pick a quarterback, and then, you know, screw up everything because everybody now is in scramble mode. So, Rich says, since we have these crazy people in our league, what is it this year? What's the key to winning your league this year for somebody who may be in a crazy league like ours? <laughs> Jump in there early and get who you want. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and draft Justin Fields in the first round. Not at all. Let's be smart about this. Okay. <laughs> There's about five or six, maybe seven quarterbacks that I can think of. I'm not going to rattle out names because that will do, we'll do that on another show. Mm -hmm. That I can say if they get drafted early and you don't have a reliable uh, QB1 stud in your team, you might be in trouble this year. So I would say obvious, the obvious, your running backs, uh, especially if you're in a PPR league, you want to have a high octane uh, receptive running back. Even if you don't have a PPR league, your running backs are very important. But the next most important position, in my opinion, if you get to it, are your quarterbacks. If not, play the board. Make sure you get quality players. You will have time in the seven rounds and beyond that to pick your sleeper picks, people that, that may have got overlooked that now all of a sudden are there or whatnot. And, and, and people that have fallen backwards because of whatever reason they think they're going to split carries with somebody or, or whatnot. There's a whole lot of different things that I've seen. I've seen crazy players go first round. I've seen Lock them first round players go far back as a fourth and fifth round. You just have you have to be aggressive when it's time to be aggressive. You have to be patient when it's time to be patient. It's just like that old uh, Vegas song about knowing when to hold them and fold them. Pretty much that's how fantasy football is with the draft. The draft is probably the most important thing to your season. It will make or break you. I have not seen too many people who have drafted with the auto draft and actually had solid results through the rest of the year. Right. So you have to be there. And you have to draft. You have to pick smart. You know, this year, I think we want to, you know, I'm going to try. We're going to work on it. I think we're going to try to broadcast our draft. We're going to do a sizzle draft. We're going to okay. simulcast our draft. I think that's what we should do. We should simulcast it, put it out there on draft night, and show the people how we get down and do what we do. You know, I'm going to put this out there. I mean, because maybe back, you know, let's let's be real. Fantasy football has been around for a while. Mm -hmm. A lot longer than what people have thought about. It just was done on a big board in the back or something like that. Hey, this is the day of COVID. And guess what? Online draft is easy, baby. And like you said, we can actually do a draft party on Zoom. Mm. We can do that. It can be done. I am waiting on somebody 
to do the Facebook Live Fantasy Draft. I think that would be for Sizzle. Oh, well, now you talking my language. Now we're talking about something that's not fizzle, it's sizzle. So I think we're going to set up, you know what? I know in the next episode, we're getting ready to get out of here, but I know in the next episode, we're going to talk about running backs and then talk about your quarterbacks. Again, the two positions you just mentioned, which are very impactful for you moving forward. But you know what? In the next coming weeks, let's do that. Let's get ready for a Facebook Live draft style. All sizzle, no fizzle. That's all fuss sizzle. That's full sizzle, my brother. And look, unless you're Snoop Dogg getting whipped on online and you have to leave your computer, let me tell you this. You know who it is. You know what it is. It's the sizzle here in the building. You're listening to the pre-fantasy show, and we're going to give you more information next time we see you. So remember this. Like, subscribe, share. If you haven't done it, we're coming and slapping somebody that you know, and we're going to slap a sizzle sticker right on their forehead and be like, like, subscribe, and share. So and you know me, who it is. Let huh? me help you out with something, okay? What's that? Every year I have to sit here and watch people say, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing, and then they get smoked. Mm -hmm. And then I will definitely talk about you. Yep. I, I am a huge trash talker when it comes to fantasy football, especially when I didn't sit here and pretty much gave you my playbook mm -hmm. and you still lose. Yeah, that's a problem. And they always do. <laughs> He's Rich Sizzle. I'm G Sizzle. You know what it is. You know who it is. It's the sizzle in the building, my friend. And we will see you on the other side. Make sure that you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Iron Skillet Sports. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to Iron Skillet Sports on YouTube at Iron Skillet Sports.